that's where we are. This is this is the world that we have. You know, there's the factual debate, and then there's the political reality. And as this is it, I mean, it's bizarre to think that he's getting cheers on Battle Creek, Michigan, on the same night he is literally getting impeached on the floor of the House. It is bizarre, but historians will make more sense of it than we can right now. Well, they finally did it. They've been promising to do it since the day he took office, and after a nonstop drumbeat for three years, they finally managed to impeach a president who broke no laws. Now, it's most likely gonna die in the Senate, and ultimately nothing changes, but I'm here to tell you it's not over. They'll open up new impeachment proceedings if they have to, but one way or another, they're gonna keep this going, with the ultimate goal of driving down support for Trump, which has been their strategy from day one. That brings us to the guy whose wife receives millions from the Democrat party, mouse man Chuck Todd, who is none too happy about the high and growing support for Donald Trump. Well, it's it's been his, look, politically, it's the only way to survive this process, which is rally the party to your side, polarize the process, and... Look, this has been a successful strategy for this president. Oh, but it's been a successful strategy for the media as well. During the impeachment of Bill Clinton, the media sowed doubt about his accusers and framed the proceedings as a witch hunt. America wants Christmas carols uninterrupted by political scandals. Is perjury in a case like this serious enough to warrant impeaching the president? If the Republicans want to go ahead and do this, I think they disgrace themselves in a more profound way than President Clinton has by mm -hmm. abusing the machinery of impeachment. Is it worth overturning the will of the people in order to impeach him if the only thing you can prove is that he lied? Is there or is there not some concern that of the public perception that this is in, in fact a kind of effort at a quote coup? The Republican Party who dislike him and what he stands for, having been unable to beat him at the polls, have found another way to get him out of office. You don't overturn the results of an American election on a whim. Sounds familiar, right? Or how about any time the government shuts down? The Republicans are always to blame and they're always cast as suicide bombers or extremists who are holding the country hostage. You think maybe that polarizes the country? I'd argue that Trump is president because of the polarization that the media has created. It's just absurd that Todd would blame Republicans when it's Democrats and the media that have been pushing for impeachment literally since the day Trump took office. I've pointed it out many times before, but I'm going to keep doing it. It was the media who set the standard that questioning the integrity of election results would be an attack on democracy. Yet that's all they've done. He refused to say that he would respect the results of this election. Now, make no mistake, by doing that, he is threatening our democracy. But the notion that the basic act of democracy, of casting a vote, is no longer fair and that our elections in some ways are no, no, no longer free, which is the suggestion we've been hearing from Donald Trump on the campaign trail as of late. I mean, the, the long-term and even medium-term effect on our democracy could be profound. The media is plainly a tool of the Democrat Party, and it clearly acts as the opposition party. For one of the most recent examples, just look at this Twitter post from the Washington Post yesterday. Mary Impeachments from the Washington Post team. These are people who, along with Democrats, have been pushing this notion that impeachment is a somber moment for them. It just goes to show their contempt and low opinion of the average person. If you want more proof, just look at their update to this post. I'm deleting a tweet tonight that is being misrepresented by some as an endorsement of some kind. To be absolutely clear, we are the Post are merely glad that we are getting a break for the holiday after a long three months. I will retweet the group photo with a better caption. Oh, it's just us idiots misinterpreting happy impeachments. Yet somehow it's Trump's fault that nobody trusts the media. And I gotta say, this really reminds me of the IG report and the media's claim that the FBI simply made mistakes in repeatedly lying to FISA courts. All he's done is fought this to a draw. This is the polarized picture of America. I mean, the Democratic Party almost 
is united in believing he needs to go, and the Republican Party is almost united in believing this is a witch hunt. Tell the Republicans to stop this witch hunt now. Right, and this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that the media is obviously a DNC political propaganda machine. These people have no self-awareness, none. Or maybe they do, but if they show any shred of it, they'll lose their lucrative jobs. Chuck Todd's accustomed to a certain lifestyle, and the Democrats aren't going to give his wife millions for nothing. Lester, in the middle, independents literally are split down the middle on this question. So, and as this is it, I mean, it's bizarre to think that he's getting cheers on Battle Creek, Michigan on the same night he is literally getting impeached on the floor of the House. It is bizarre, but historians will make more sense of it than we can right now. Todd might need a reboot. He seems to be locking up. We don't need historians, Todd. We can make perfect sense of it right now. The media is an untrustworthy tool of one of the political parties, and an increasing amount of Americans have had enough. People can plainly see that the media wanted Hillary Clinton to win and join the resistance the minute that Trump won the election. Trump may not be the warrior that we wanted, but he's the warrior that we are given and he fights back against the media like nobody ever has. That's exactly why his support has sustained and continues to grow. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thank you and Merry Christmas.